Hi friends, welcome to my channel for the total healing of your body, mind and soul in all possible ways. Friends, now I'm going to tell you about a life situation. Why does some siblings ignore only one sibling after the death of the father? And what should that sibling do? For the answer, I will tell you a story. Many of you may relate to this story. The story is like this. There were four brothers, four brothers and one sister. Three of the brothers were married when the father died and the sister was younger to them. Their wives always used to trouble the sister and the youngest brother two sided the three elder brothers and their wives. After the father's death, one of the brothers refused to even talk about the marriage of the sister. He told the sister that there are many girls who run their business and stay at home without getting married. This brother and his wife promised that they would take care of everything but they didn't do anything in reality. They actually poisoned everyone in the house against the sister. So she took the permission of the family elders, that is the father's brothers and even the mother to go and get married elsewhere as the mother didn't even have any money to marry her. After her marriage, two of the brothers didn't support her in any way. She and her husband struggled to have a decent life but still she was ignored by all of them. They never came to visit her. Neighbors used to ask her why her brothers didn't visit her but she used to never say anything but remain quiet. After a long time and lot of struggling, the sister who was the smartest among all of them completed her studies and became a professional. A real professional. When the mother grew very old, the brothers blamed the sister for robbing the mother's chain and other gold. When the sister didn't see the mother for a long time, the gold was actually with one of them only. Finally, the sister went to meet the eldest brother after many years to take his blessings as he and his family stays abroad and they had come down. And that time the sister had gone to meet the mother. So, when she went to meet him, he acted as if he didn't know her at all. Now what should the sister do? The sister decided to maintain a distance from them all. But whenever she went to see the old mother, who hardly remembers anything now, she sometimes meets them. Very rarely but meets them. What should she do? The answer, she should just smile at any one of them if they meet her when she goes to meet the mother and come. She should weigh the pros and cons of maintaining a relationship with them. If the hurts are too many and if they may show up at any time, she must first block all of them and concentrate on her family with her husband. If she tells them anything, there will be more problems. Even if she talks to them, they will hurt her more. So just smiling and not answering anything is the best for her. At present, cutting all the ties is the best to maintain peace of mind. In the future, relations can be mended, but the present counts. So the conclusion of the story. Ignore all bad relationships and focus on your good relationships in life to have peace of mind in life. It may be anyone. If a person is toxic, maintain a boundary with that person or a distance from that person. Don't interfere too much with that person. If you can't ignore the person and the person has to be with you in your house, it may be your mother, father, your brother, sister, your husband, wife, anyone who has to be with you in your house. And if it is somebody else who can be far away like a married sibling and is very toxic, cut off all your ties or relationships with him or her to have a happy life and at least for the present think that you don't have any siblings. 
or any such relationships. Forget the bad people and concentrate on the good in life. Friends, if you like this teaching of my story or the teaching what I try to tell you all through this story that I made up, do like and don't forget to subscribe and be a part of this family. Take care and lots of love to you all. Bye.